The city of San Diego says prostitution was so rampant at a Kearney Mesa massage parlor, it took legal action today to shut down the business. It's our top story on the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. CBS 8's Kelly Hestedal joins us live from Kearney Mesa with what police say they uncovered in this extensive investigation. Kelly. Yeah, and that's right. And the details inside the court documents are pretty graphic. Now, the Ocean Spa Massage Parlor was operating here outside of or inside this uh, business complex along Kearney Villa Road. Now, it was operating out of two different units, and the city attorney says uh, some of the legal activity that was happening here was so loud, it would interrupt a youth Bible study group next door, and that it got so bad, the group left. They call themselves a massage parlor. They are not. Uh, there is prostitution activity that's been happening there for years, and they've actually brought it out into the parking lot so that everybody can be witness to them uh, f thumbing their nose at the law. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was a uh, man here who appeared to be painting inside the massage parlor this morning who left uh, pretty quickly after our cameras showed up. Now, we did get a look inside this place. I'm told the owners have been hauling things away today. Uh, you, can, you can see there were still several things left behind. Uh, furniture, including tables, couches. We spotted several boxes and bags of trash. It looked like uh, there were some pills on the floor. Now, this investigation with the city attorney's office and police uncovered numerous things. Police say Ocean Spa workers actually were caught offering to sell sex to undercover police officers on four different occasions for anywhere from $150 to $300. Now, police say online they found more than 1,200 advertisements offering sex acts at this so-called spa. And according to court documents, complaints about the business started back in 2018. People complained about traffic at all hours of the day, sexual sounds coming from the premises, uh, which were audible to nearby businesses, and female employees wearing sexually explicit, explicit that is, is clothing. Investigators say sex acts were happening inside the business and also in people's cars in the parking lots. That Bible study group that I mentioned actually terminated its lease at this site last fall because of the activity going on here. I asked Chief David Nislight today uh, why it took so long to shut this business down, and here's what he said. You have to get collaboration. You have to get evidence that collaborates what the complaints are, and, and sometimes it can take longer than everybody wants to include ourselves. And he says in 2023 alone, STPD spent over 125 hours investigating prostitution-related crimes at the property. Uh, the city attorney wants the courts to fine the property owners and those running the business more than $100,000. So back out here live, the city attorney says there was also evidence that some of the workers were actually sleeping here at the business. So there's also a concern uh, that potentially human trafficking was happening here as well. Carlo and Heather? Yeah, Kelly, it sounds like this was going on for a very long time before some Something was actually done. What about criminal charges? Well, yeah, so shutting the business down, that's all in civil court. Uh, we do know that a criminal investigation is ongoing right now. Uh, I'm told that one person has been charged uh, with prostitution. However, that is just a misdemeanor. I'm told that uh, were they to continue to go down that road of, you know, finding a conspiracy or an organized crime ring, that is an extremely complicated thing to do. It's an extensive investigation and takes a lot of manpower. Uh, but having said that, they say the investigation is ongoing. Uh, they say the focus right now, though, was just getting some relief for these neighbors and getting this business shut down. Uh, potential for much more serious charges down the road. Kelly Hustall reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.